just a different kind of athlete. Just a different kind of athlete. Just a different kind of athlete. Embrace the pain, see me walking with a limp, it don't change a thing. Falling since a jit, never seen the fame. Blood of the lamb, I can do all things. Raising eyebrows, they don't know the name. Sacrifice a lot just to play the game. Life on the line, they used to laugh in my face. Turn up the dial, cause I run my own race. Just a different kind of athlete. Just a different kind of athlete. What's going on you guys? It's Coach Taylor here. Um, I'm coming to you guys to talk about pain. Um, in one of the uh, videos, one of the episodes, I talked, to, I mentioned that, you know, I've experienced pain and been in pain my entire life. You know, so there's different kinds of pain in which we experience in fitness, right? So there, you, you know, you get pain from injury, you get pain from inflammation, you get pain uh, from being sore from, you know, um, the use of your muscle, you get pain uh, from atrophy. You get pain for from hypertrophy. So I think I said, I hope I said that right. Excuse me if I did. Um, so I was talking with one of my clients yesterday. Um, they had experienced a bit of knee pain for uh, a few, for about a week or so, for a couple weeks. They've been experiencing this knee pain to the point where we needed to dial back on what we were doing. Um, now, the, the exercise and what we were doing to build her up, her body isn't used to. The knee is one of the most unstable, you know, joints in the body, but it's the most strongest joint in the body because of the muscles and ligaments that support it. Um one of the most stable structures, I should say. Stabilized structures uh, in the body. So, this, you know, the pain or whatever, so we had to dial back our training uh, for that. Uh, so we, her body was being put in position to learn how to stabilize laterally, just as much as what we do front to back. Now, as a trainer, as a trainer that has experienced stroke, who has lived the majority of their life with um, uh, obstacles to overcome, um, there are certain things that I value. So, being a and, and looking at how we go through life. A lot of us never really, we never use our lateral plane. So we never really go side to side unless we're playing a sport or we're doing some kind of activity. But our everyday lives are set up for us to go forward, forward, and forward. We may take a couple steps back or whatever, but it's straight line. This is all we know. Um, and it, can, it, it shows in our fitness. You know, when you look at people, all they're really worried about is the front part of what they can see in the mirror, right? Uh, the biceps, the chest, big chest, you know, the abs, like, you know, the curves, uh, what my quads look like. But we never really take the time to look behind us to see what is supporting us to keep us to keep that in balance so um pain right so she is 
dealing with or experience pain due to hypertrophy, due to the body learning how to adapt to the physiological changes that she's experiencing within her body musculature. Uh, and I hope I said that right. <laughs> um, so, uh, so yeah, that's one way to experience pain. And a lot of people aren't used to that. But a lot of, like, the pain that slides by is the pain that a lot of people experience, experience when they're going through atrophy. So atrophy is when you're losing muscle, right? Uh, when you're, you, you know, uh, a lot of us are in our phones, right? A lot of us are on our computer, right? A lot of us are like uh, in our cars all the time. A lot of us are like this all the time. So we're not built to be that way. Our body is not made to uh we are homo erectus we are upright we stand we're tall right uh so this is not our posture so a lot of people are going to go through posture uh, um, uh posture imbalances uh and it's already happening right we this was mentioned years ago uh, when technology was first starting to, to snowball and roll. Um, so that atrophy, the, the, the loss of the po posterior chain is starting to, to crumble. So our posterior chain is starting to crumble. So a lot of people are experiencing pain um, experience and pain due to atrophy but they're you they're there is showing as injury so a lot of people are having low back pain because of atrophy in certain muscle groups because we're starting to shrink and shrivel and go this way right we're starting to ball up basically we're a lot of y'all starting to turn into the shrimp that you love you know, the curve and the shrimp, that's what you're turning into. Um, so, uh, back pain, low back pain, hip pain, sciatica, sitting on your hips, sitting on your butt, trying to sit on your butt. A lot of people don't know that the proper way to sit is to actually be up and then your weight is actually shifted into your hamstrings all right we're not supposed to actually sit on our glutes or our tailbone our tailbone because like if you had a tail you wouldn't want to sit on it right um so we're actually supposed to be upright and leaning forward a tad bit um so sciatica uh, low back pain people are starting to get pain in their neck shoulders is starting to travel you know, we're starting to get a protruding neck. You know, our shoulders are starting to round in. So a lot of people are experiencing pain through atrophy. So when you go to correct those things, if you come train with me, in order for us to get to the things that you want to do, we have to go through those basic structural changes. So you're going to experience pain going trying to reverse those things to go back right but again as i stated before i'd rather be in pain knowing that i'm making myself better than not knowing that not knowing where the pain comes from or you know um letting myself go <laughs> completely so i'd rather i'd rather be in pain um yeah, I'd rather be in pain doing something about it uh, rather than just nothing at all. So, uh, just wanted to come talk about that.
uh, a little bit. Hopefully you guys understand a little bit more about what I meant by being in pain the entire life. Um, so uh, with a stroke, you're like, because you don't have the use of muscles or you've been in a cast for a long time, uh, that's atrophy, you know, and now you're trying to get these muscles to fire, come online and stuff like that. You're trying to get your neuromuscular control, uh, skeletal to, to, to work together. So like that, that is painful, like ground up work and you're actually cognitive of it or no conscious my bad conscious of it it's a conscious effort so um yeah because when you're a kid it's it's like it's a conscious effort but it's in a different way so yeah i don't know what i meant by that but again uh stay tuned for uh, a different kind of the next episode of a different kind of athlete I thank you guys for uh, tuning in, and I will see you in the next one. Have a blessed one. As always, everything is motivation. Peace.